Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. This happens to be episode 144 of Four and Three Sports Suck. I'm your host, Raheem Nascalai. It is a pleasure that you are here with me watching this. Um, today I have stories from Sporting World. Uh, I got Major League Baseball and Western Mass. Sports continues with our look inside the high school football camps. Today we do West Springfield. So, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. A little jumbled there, sorry. Um, in news, Billy B claims vaccination status is no factor in Cam Newton's release. I don't care what factors led to his release. He needed to go, and it's mac and cheese time. Um, former Celtics first rounder Taco Fell and the Cavs agreed to a one year deal. Um, he's probably going to play all two games, average like four points a, four points a game. Um, Texas A&M giving a little uh, appreciation, showing a little appreciation actually, to um, head coach Jimbo Fisher with an extension um, good until 2030, and he's making around. Nine million, um, nine point five million. I'm sorry, a year. So good for Jimbo. I'm glad he's in Texas A&M. He's got them ranked. Holy crap! Like the first time since like 2006. <laughs> um. Okay. Here's the big one. Here's a big one. Here's a big one. Brian Flores, Miami Dolphins head coach. Quote unquote. Tua is our quarterback. <laughs> Tua is a quarterback. Tua is not our quarterback. Tua is not the Dolphins franchise quarterback going forward. Let's just be straight here. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out or, you know, like what's what like what, what's going to happen. Is Miami going to going to lose or like tank for the rest of the season maybe because there might be some some good uh signal caller coming out first round or um, honestly uh, another outcome could be um, they get the Sean Watson, or what the third one, which is more like the most likely, um, giving everything we know right now, is the fact that the Sean Watson's going to jail, and you guys are not going to get a better quarterback, at least not now. Um, who knows, man? Those are those are the three the three big things, three big ways in which I think it could turn. Um, so I I think I think you know what? It's the, they're there's just words being exchanged. They're flirt, it's flirting of sorts in the homo. Um, so I think um, it's a long shot. Deshaun Watson is on the Miami Dolphins roster. Come start of the season, or at any point um, in this season, for that matter. Uh, Naomi Osaka versus Ola Danilovic. Yes, 12 p.m. Eastern, but as you can tell, that's a 12 p.m. has already came and went a little while ago. Cardinals place quarterback Malcolm Butler on the retired list. I suppose he said at, at um, you know, at first that he's going to retire, but, like, you know, he's going to mull it over. Um, I don't know. Honestly, he's... He's all right. He had he had one game, one game to his to, um, for for being his uh, claim to fame, and that's it. He kind of like sucked. He got burnt everywhere else, especially in Tennessee. He raped the Tennessee. Sorry, he took the Tennessee Titans for uh, a huge contract extension and did nothing with it, and ultimately was released. Um, so, yes, those those are the stories for the news today. Let's get into Major League Baseball really quickly because I had a good night last night. Um, Philly 12, Washington 6, Baltimore 4, Toronto 2, Tampa Bay 8, Boston 5. I lost $150 on that one. Um, Mets 3, Marlins 1, Athletics 9, Tigers 3. Uh, Texas Rangers beat the Colorado Rockies 4-3. Cubs 3, Twins 1. Indians 7, Royals 2. Almost said Chiefs, wow. Royals, Royals. Chicago White Sox 4, Pittsburgh 2. White, Chicago wins games that like you don't 
think that they're going to win, and then you, you bet against them, and then they fuck it. Uh, Angels over the Yanks, 6-4. Yeah. Uh, San Diego, 3. Arizona, nothing. That, guys, was a rare Padres win. The next time you'll see it is um, probably when I'm 36, something like that. Um, anyway, Milwaukee, 6. San Fran, 2. That's, that's rare because San Fran does not lose to Milwaukee. Um, Dodgers, 3. Braves, 2. Seattle Mariners, 4. Houston Astros, 0. God damn. What a, what a sad excuse for a team. Um, honestly. And then the St. Louis the Cardinals game and the Reds game was postponed um, due to some unsavory weather. Um, in the area. Anyway, now moving on to the final section of our show. This is Western Mass Sports. High school football. We're taking a big, deep look into the West Springfield Terriers. Yes, the West Springfield Terriers. Sorry, I just like keep... Anyway, probably don't. Probably just another um, weird... Uh, Weird hippie lucid lucid hallucination. Who knows? Anyway, um, West Springfield Terriers were a, a treat um, if you got a chance to watch them play during the shortened season as they, they averaged um, a little less than 35 a game. They, those boys, trust me, those boys were balling. Um, any any time on a fo- on any a high school football team and you can you can average more than 30 a game is is crazy. Um, to say and so we have this on them my second favorite team in western mass high school football they're well balanced especially on the offensive side of the ball um are the west are the west side terriers this team was littered with playmakers um led by quarterback ryan russell who can hurt you with his arm or his legs unfortunately for all of us who like to see uh, that type of football. Um, Ryan Russell has graduated and moved on to college, um, work the work life stuff like that. And um, we are going to give him a shout out and uh, thank you for that shortened season and being able to see you play in that. That was awesome. Offensively speaking, the question is: How does this high power attack um, from a shortened season recover from the hole that was left behind in? Ryan Russell's departure. That's gonna be huge. It's 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 it's, big, it's gonna be it's interesting to see any any team come back. You know, especially at the quarterback position um, with a guy that that you know they they they're confident and say yeah let's go look we're gonna plug him in. I've yet to see anything, um, and I'm, I'm sure as 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 the days progress we'll see something as far as their uh, their their. Um, what they do here at, at quarterback, but I do believe that the West Springfield Terriers have a good enough supporting cast for this not to be too, too much of an issue. Just as long as the kid's not throwing ducks and, and interceptions every single play. Other than that, I think the Terriers team is talented and well-rounded on offense and defense and can can score with the, with, with, with the best of them. Defense-wise, this makes up for... Um, an experience at the quarterback position, uh, a grand old defense, a perfect hard-hitting defense, ready to destroy the ball carrier, with the likes of Johnny Rosado and lockdown corner Makai Smith, and pass rush specialist Javier Andino, look to stop any and all opposing offenses in 2021. So, a prediction for the. Number three, West Springfield Terriers. I say they are going to go five and three in the eight-game season, MIAA um, rules and the tournaments and all that beautiful stuff. Well, there you have it. There was episode 144, the 403 Sports Talk. My name is Rahim Mescalai, and I was so damn glad to bring you this episode. Um... Please do not forget we are on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us over there. And do not forget we're on Facebook. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Please view these videos as well. that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I love you all and I wish you nothing but health, wealth, and success. Good, good day. Have a good day. Please. And enjoy this weather if you can.
நானும் வந்து